All right, the shoot is over. One last little thing before I let you go. We talked earlier about thinking before when you're doing these kinds of shoots on any commercial. The, the real benefit comes from not only having done the job and got all the experience of being there on the day and all of our skills have gotten better, but now we need proof that we can actually do this so we can show other people that we have the necessary skills that are able to get jobs like this done. So that means we need to get the footage. Now, lots of people will just leave a commercial set, right? I know tons of cinematographers that will just leave that day. Maybe they get a few stills from the DIT that they can take and pass on in the grade to the director, uh, and then they'll just wait for the final spot to be seen. But once you start doing this for a little while, you'll notice that a lot of the greatest shots never even see the final ad, right? They see the cutting room floor. And that's all of our hard work. That's all of our lighting in there. We need to know if our plan worked, if it came through in the end, if the idea or the frame or the lighting, if those things were successful. And that means we need to see all of the footage. And there's lots of different opinions on this. I will give you mine, which is I try and get every single shot that we shoot, I try and get a copy of it. And I just simply ask the DIT, I'll talk to the producer, I'll talk to the director, make sure everything is fine. But I want as much of the footage because that is the proof that I can produce the results. So I want to see it, not only for uh, showing other people, whether that's on the website, on the reel, or wherever you're going to show those stills or that, that moving image, but also for myself to see if the techniques are actually working. So do not forget to get the footage. I would say this is a high priority on the day, making sure that you have a way to get the footage to you afterwards, all of it, as much of it as you can. Stills are not enough. I would try and fight for every piece of footage that you can because that is the proof. That shows you not only that you know what you're doing, but then you'll be able to use that material to get more jobs. So do not leave the set without getting as much footage as you possibly can. Uh, and also maintain contact with the director. This is part of the workflow here. This director, if you've done a great job, you're going to want to keep in contact so that you get the next job, so that you're top of the pile. So maybe you can use the excuse that you want the footage so that you can see the results and maybe you can pass on some graded stills to the director so that they get an idea, they can pass on to the colorist what you're after. But every commercial production company is going to operate differently. Uh, some people want a lot of input from the cinematographer. Some don't want any. Some will just, uh, you know, say thanks for the job and you'll never hear from them again. But we want that footage. You don't want to rely on them putting out the final ad and then you taking footage from that final ad. So that would be my last tip here is just be aware of where that footage is going because that is all of your hard work. That is your investment is in that footage. So make sure you get as much of it as you can because we're going to use it for our reel. We're going to use it for our understanding of whether the techniques are working for our growth. We're going to be able to take notes and see what lighting setup worked, what didn't work, if we're doing anything out of the ordinary. That is the proof. The proof is in the footage. So do not underestimate how important it is to get a plan beforehand. Right? If you have to talk to the producer before the day, if you have to talk to the DIT or set up a drive system, whatever it is you have to do to get that footage, I strongly urge you to go through those necessary steps because it will be worth it in the end.